the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. With Chesapeake Bank gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we've got a good one on tap in the AFC North as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gaughton with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. is one of the better rivalries going. The Ravens and Steelers are underway. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It will come out to the 25. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. And that's how you get started and open up a game. Really well blocked play. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage. If you're the offensive line, that's exactly what you've talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish the line of scrimmage and take control. And they gave their running back plenty of room to rumble. Now a first down throw complete downfield. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Justin Matabike firing across the line there and planning him for a loss. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Pickett looking to throw on second down. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 16. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. 
Pick it now to throw off the play fake. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll start out here with the option left. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now is second and 10. Jackson. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Throwing is Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. No hesitation, goes right back to Likely. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. On third down, Jackson has taken in by his big tight end, and he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. They'll run for the first time with Hill, and he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. A short one there, caught by Likely. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown out. 
Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Jackson's throw brought in here by Bateman. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Now Jackson. He finds Aguilar over the middle. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Jackson's going to keep it. And he will take it in. Touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Ravens go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and open up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker with the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. Kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. Got his man, it's Warren. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the... They had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm-up QB, too. Let's bring in the backup. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, you take them down, you don't score points. You know I'm being totally <laughs> facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game, but they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Here's Pickett on second down. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down.
Pickett. Finding Pickens for another catch. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. the play fake. Here's Pickett. A quick throw there is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody and that led to an incompletion. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Pickett. He's going to throw it again. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Now run straight ahead with Warren, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. to pick up about four at second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now a second and six. On the give, it's Warren, and he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. They'll come up now, third and three. Now pick it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they were in the red zone, and they needed a first down. Was it a surprise to you that they went to the tight end? Not at all. I thought, though, the defense might put a little more pressure on him, but still able to complete it. Pick it now from the gun here. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Allen Robinson, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers are an extra point away from evening this one up. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Boswell good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's Allen Robinson who caps things off with a touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. Oh, now it's free. Hill fumbled it. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. On first and ten, it's Pickett. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but... Let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and 10. Running left, it's Warren. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Now a pause and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Third and three. Back to throw, pick it. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Pick it, a look to throw it here. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Jackson on first down. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Here's Jackson to throw. The short one there caught by Likely. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Jackson. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And Jackson throwing once more, setting up the screen here to Edwards. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 43, here's second down and eight. They run once more with Edwards. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 35. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles as we just saw in that pickup. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, you talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot. Because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. But he's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. And they run the option on second down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now it's Jackson. Flushed out right. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least. If they pick a field goal, turns out to be the better call here. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This one from 48 yards away. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to seven. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they gonna recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Tucker now following the main field goal, set to kick it away. Iguabuque to return it from his end zone here. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they wanted to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off the points for themselves. He's got this to Pickens. A very solid gain of 27. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's Pickett. Finds Pickens out right, and he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. Pickett sets up play action. Here's Johnson. 
Wilson with a reception. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a first down carry for Harris. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Ball on the eight. It's second and four. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers have taken the lead. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Boswell for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So the drive there took six plays. And it's Allen Robinson who caps things off with a touchdown. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Edwards now on first and 10. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. Jackson. Throwing out left and finding likely. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 42 yards. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Yeah, that's 
what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He no goes chance. to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, <laughs> the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Second down and six now. Throwing is Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Edwards. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And that loss of yards there is not just on him. It's on the guys blocking for it. I mean, they're supposed to create some type of space or at least get a stalemate. They end up letting them through, and they ended up tackling him for a loss. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. touchdown and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 one more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot a little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Pick it back to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Looking to throw, pick it. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Pick it. And he is caught. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion.
Now Pickett. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Now a second and two. Back to throw. Pick it. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. Final play of the first half. Here's Pickett. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And this is going to be intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And nothing comes of this last-ditch attempt at points as time will run out on this first half. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Short completion, just four yards at its second down. Jackson now. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Jackson. of how accurate he's been throwing the football. We're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. To throw is Jackson. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. Five yards, now it's third and five. I know from experience, partner, all they've been talking about is if we can just make one play, get our hands on the ball one time, we can change this game. They almost did. That was a dangerous throw. And instead, it goes against them one more time. Let's see if they can hang in there and not lose control mentally. Now it's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Ravens first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Well, he has 
He's been the featured receiver on this drive. They've looked his way a number of times. Why not get it to him on third down? And they do. And they're able to keep this drive moving. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jackson will throw again. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Jackson. Complete to Likely. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a game of 15. First and 10. This is where you can try and get a tight end in space. They like this matchup, so they'll let their two receivers to his outside, run simple little short routes, hoping to suck up the secondary. And that'll free up space for their tight end on a corner route to make a big play. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. You figure down in the red zone, the play call that's going to come in, find the guy that's most susceptible. It's the guy that you think that you can beat. In this case, they tried to pick on the rookie, and he was actually up to the challenge. Yes, he was. Solid job knocking that away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Jackson to throw. Right side, there's Likely with it. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Hill. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. There wasn't even thought of a short field goal. There was no hesitation. They were going for it. I think he was thinking ahead a couple plays ago that if he got in this situation, they were definitely going for it. And you're right. It was a confident call and a decisive run to pick it up. They'll run here with Edwards. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? They'll take it in. Justice Hill taking it in from seven yards away. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. 
They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. The run there on first down, going to get him five up to the 30. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Pickett looking to throw on second down. Johnson's got it complete. And Johnson going to have a Steelers first down as the tackle made up near the 35. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. Late. Pat Fryermuth, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Back to throw, pick it. And his throw is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Pickett. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. And some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play... He joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Dialing up another pass here, Pickett. For the catch made by Johnson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Pick it a look to throw it here. And that is incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Pick it back to throw. A short one there to fire you. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. Yeah, and it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. On the give, this is Harris. He will push his way down to about the 14. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. And they'll come up second and seven.
They run again with Harris. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. from the gun. Pick it. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Harris fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Najee Harris, well built for work down here near the end zone. That's a nice job there to hold him up, but I doubt we've seen the last of him on this drive. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score game, second half, you're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not gonna get much better than this for an opportunity. Pick it down, third and goal. Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Steelers have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that cuts the lead to three, 12 now to kick it away after the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And a throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Jackson, option right. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. On second down, it's Edwards. And he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. Three quarters.
Steelers have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Ravens on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 11. Now Jackson. Shifts by him. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Thanks to his effort, they now have a big choice to make here. He just ran them in the field goal range with that one, so here come the choices. Do they kick it here, or do they trust him to make another big play and possibly get a first down? They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, he's had a good number of carries. He's just been unable to really break off anything substantial. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. They go play action now. Jackson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. Hill will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Tucker now to add the point after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result was the touchdown run by Justice Hill. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Looking to throw, pick it. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and now it's third down. Pick it. Taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And for as poorly as this offense has looked at times, it's the fourth quarter and they're still in this game. That's a good, confident throw right there. 
And now, who knows? If you can put a drive together here, you can make something of this game after all. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now pick it. Here's Fryermuth again. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. George Pickens, his intended receiver there. And now it's second down. Back to throw again. He's got his tight end flyer youth over the middle. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Pickett, he's going to throw it again. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. The Steelers send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And they'll run the option to start the drive. The quick feet by Jackson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment, running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk. Plus, you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now it's Jackson. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And they're gonna have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 12-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the top of someone or body someone out of the way. He's got to make sure he creates enough space for himself by getting people into the wrong spot on defense, moving them with his body, and then showing his numbers to the quarterback to be open. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. At 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Jackson going to keep it running right. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Jackson. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. They'll look to run with Edwards. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Gus Edwards. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And you can forgive this defense just a bit here. They know how dangerous Lamar Jackson is running the football. Stopping him is in many ways a prime concern. So here, they're late to react to the handoff on the option. And it costs them as this winds up a touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle complete. It's Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Looking to throw. Pick it. Got his man. It's Warren. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. And they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Third and two. Pick it. And he is caught, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And the offense moving quickly to the line. To the air on first down with Pickett. Out route, and he connects with Firemuth. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, there wasn't much of a window there, Charles. Had to deal with a couple of defenders, but able to find his big tight end. 
And partner, we know double coverage is a challenge for any player to try to defeat. But maybe it's a little easier if you're one of those big tight ends because you have a size advantage on just about anyone trying to cover you. And you use your body to create some space. 11 yards for number 11. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Allen Robinson from 19 yards away. And the Steelers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The well, fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section what running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Again, it's Edwards. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. And now we're gonna get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Now the Steelers gonna use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Try and run for the first with Edwards. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
This defense tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here's Pickett and the Steelers. Down by 13, a little under a minute to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Looking to throw here, pick it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. This has just really been a solid second half from them, CD, as they add another touchdown to the lead, and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top with that touchdown. Now he's got to play out this final minute, and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. Jackson and the Ravens still on the field. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And he will step out of bounds. Oh, what a mistake there. And the two-point try will be unsuccessful. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Iguabuque to return it from his end zone here. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. They're down big here late. I don't know. What, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Open man there is Darnell Washington. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not only did he have 
a chance to scan the field there. It felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Here's Pickett. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. So back-to-back -back incompletions and that has them staring at a third and 10. Back to throw, pick it. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. It just go deep. See if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.